Society and today is no different. Mandy Schaff is joining us from CDHS this morning with Presley, a dog that needs some TLC in a new home. Good morning, Mandy, and thank you Good so morning. much for joining us. You bet. Tell me about so this Presley. Is, so this is Presley, and she um, de she's deciding that she's going to lay down and get comfortable, <laughs> there you go. Um, which, which is okay. Uh, Presley is about a nine-year-old um, husky mix. And she has the, you know, the typical husky characteristics, those um, bright, you know, just brilliant blue eyes. Uh, she is not in the best of health. Uh, she has uh, most likely an autoimmune condition, um, which we are trying to manage the best that we can with medication uh, and food. She also has some pretty severe allergies. Uh, she is a very friendly dog. She is just real easygoing. Um, but we are looking for someone who would be interested in taking Presley in as what we call a FOSFA situation. Uh, we don't know with her health situation how you know long she'll she'll be with us. We hope you know for for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And she does have good days, uh, and then she has some days where she kind of has like a flare up. Um, anybody that you know is afflicted with an autoimmune condition knows that you can have some great days, some good days, and then some not so good days. So we're just looking for someone who might be interested in taking her on and and letting her live her life, however long that will be, uh, in a home environment where she um, can get the love and attention that she deserves. Absolutely, a gorgeous dog too. Now we're not getting a great look at her right now, but, but during commercial break, she was uh, more front and center. Beautiful puppy, beautiful, beautiful. dog, there she is. Good girl. Let me ask you this now, you, you mentioned there are good days and bad days. On the bad days, what are some of the symptoms? What are some of the things that she portrays? Well, you can just tell she just doesn't feel well. Mm -hmm. um, she, you know, she sometimes has loose stools, okay. uh, but she also um, is like she, we've had a, a couple of our volunteers that have taken her out for a period of time. And she is, you know, I mean, she does ask to go out when she needs to go out and hasn't had any accidents when she's been visiting, um, you know, in a, in a more, extensive visit uh, so just kind of more of just not feeling well and mm -hmm. kind of needing to rest quite a bit right makes sense and, and you were mentioning too early you're you know a, a husky breed part you know there's there's husky in there and I would imagine the warmer temperatures aren't her favorite things either Right, right, yeah. Um, we noticed we had a rug down for her because we were sure, weren't sure how she would do with slipping on the floor. Yeah. And she actually ended up laying down next to the rug uh, because, because it was cooler. Sure. So, and it is a little bit warm in here, too. And yep. that could be part of why she's a little bit distressed, yeah. too. You know what? And if she's having a hard time, feel free to let her go. We've, we've yeah, we a just, good, we've gotten Nancy a good just, look at her. Yep, Nancy just came to the door and took her. Yep. I took her out. I did take her for just a short walk and I let her lead. And, you know, she does fine as far as walking and she enjoyed that. Um, so, so again, you know, I think if, if we could find somebody who was just willing to meet her where right. she's at, um, take care of her the best that they can, um, it would be, it would be a great situation for her. Right. And, and no one knows, you know, as far as the longevity. So, I mean, she may be around for a while, so uh, a gorgeous looking dog. Now, I do know that coming up in June, we've got the event that Heidi and I and Hope are probably going to be there to help you celebrate again this year. Anything else coming up here in the uh, immediate future for you guys? Well, we are working on a, a cash raffle. Uh, okay. we, our newsletter should be coming out in the next few weeks, and we'll have our raffle in there. And then we also have an event. Uh, we did it last year for the first time called Flowers for Fleas. And what that event is, is it's an online auction of potted plants and garden accessories. And we're real excited about that this year, number one, because we're hoping that the weather is going to get nice mm -hmm. very soon right. so that we can get those plants um, planted and ready to go. Um, and also because we've been kind of gathering up um, items and donations for that event all year long uh, because we knew that it was coming. So uh, we're real excited about that. So watch for more information on that as far as on our Facebook page and our website. And like you said, Shaggy Shuffle is June 20th. It's on a Tuesday. Um, you guys are going to be there to help us. And um, that's a great way to raise uh, money for the shelter as well. Perfect. Now we're showing the address and things like that. But why don't you tell verbally where we can find Central Dakota? We're two and a half miles north of Mandan on Highway 1806. And if you're interested in... Uh, 
visiting with Presley or any of our adoptable pets, you can take a quick look at our website if you'd like to do that, or you can come out to the shelter. You don't need an appointment. Uh, we're open from 1 until 6, Tuesday through Friday, and 1 to 4 on Saturdays. Perfect. Mandy, give, us a, give uh, Presley a pat on the back. Thanks for a job well done, and we'll see you next week.